So you guys all know that I'm quite a fan of Evans coolant, but I get a lot of questions about engine ice. There are really two main factors to consider. Number one is thermal conductivity, and number two is boiling point. Thermal conductivity is the rate at which a substance transfers heat, so how fast it pulls heat from the engine and how fast it moves heat from the coolant into the rads. The better the thermal conductivity, the cooler your engine runs. Engine ice's thermal conductivity is better than Evans, but it's slightly worse than regular coolant. Now, every engine has an acceptable operating range of temperatures. Within that operating range, it's certainly not obvious that running cooler is definitely better. Which brings me to factor number two. When you're riding in such a way that your engine temperature exceeds what is optimal, boiling point becomes by far the most important factor. Now, regular coolant and engine ice have very similar boiling points. The only one with the significant advantage here is Evans. When coolant is a vapor, it can't pull heat from the engine into the coolant anymore. Because Evans stays liquid longer, it offers much better protection than engine ice or regular coolant. Because both the thermal conductivity and the boiling point of regular coolant and engine ice are so similar, the main advantage is that if you happen to get thirsty on the trail, you could drink the engine ice without dying. Otherwise, it's simply just a waste of money.